Now that the month of July 2019 is coming to a close, it's time to look back and rank every movie I saw in July from the worst to the best. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Josh, this is Emily Cinema, and today we're going to be getting into the ranking, but before we do that, make sure to comment down below what movies in July did you watch? How would you rank them? And be sure to stay subscribed and notified of my future videos because pretty soon I'll be releasing a July 2019 haul of every DVD that I picked up within the past month. Coming in at last place, we have Stuber. And while this isn't a particularly horrible movie as it has great action se sequences and the story flows really well and you get these wide angle shots from the action and then it transitions into a close-up shot but it transitions seamlessly as they really go through the action really well you can tell everything that's going on and the characters are really fun especially with Dave Pepista and Kumail Nanjiani and those are just a fun set of cast for the characters they have into the mix but the negatives for this is that they just don't have as much flavor add into a mix. Some of the movie is too predictable where they're going to take everything and also some of the raunchy humor isn't just my style for what I enjoy in this movie. At number two we have Disney's photorealistic live action The Lion King and this was a movie that I really adored and I actually loved more than a lot of other people do as they really focus on the story that was retold in 1994 and the characters are basically all the same. They add all these little minor changes into the mix, but it still retells the story really well. And I really enjoyed it as it almost was like a National Geographic documentary, as if the animals can still talk. They have all of their story added into the mix. And although you don't get all of the animated expressions that you get in the original, it still makes for a fun movie as you get to see it in live action. But coming in at number one, we have Spider-Man Far From Home. And they didn't just add icing on the cake for this movie to make it an extra special Marvel movie. They added sprinkles and extra frosting onto that frosting because it is really well done. The way they crafted all the characters, the way they crafted all the story, and though I knew sort of the general direction they would take Mysterio, they added more twists within that and added more tw ideas that you didn't expect coming into this movie. And the way they portray Tom Holland as the Spider-Man and Peter Parker still works super well as both of those egos. And not only was this an entertaining movie be for being a solo superhero movie, but this gave me a blast and had gave me every bit of emotion from all of the different sequences that played out. But of course, those are only the movies I watched in July 2019 and how I would rank them. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on the movies you've watched down in the comments below. How would you rank them? We all have different perspectives and all of our opinions are right to ourselves and that's what really matters. And make sure to like this video and subscribe. Check out some of these other videos on the right side of the screen. Let me know what you think of that and I'll be back for more movie reviews, rankings, and more on the way.